Hey everybody, Iron here, and today we are working on the River Town parcel. So last episode we actually finished setting up the wash plant. Now we're going to start digging and seeing what we get out of here. So if we take a look here at the gold map, um, you can see here large swatches here, but I actually decided to focus down here uh, for today's episode. Um, you can see here, kind of clicking through, you can see there's a lot of gold in this region here. So we're going to start here and get everything up and running. Now I've already staged uh, the excavator and the dump truck, so all i got to really do is jump in and get digging. Alright, so let's see, let's get this in the digging mode and start it up. Alright, great job, let's get our camera fixed, and then, like riding a bike, I'm just going to get back into it and hopefully we don't destroy our <laughs> excavator. Now we're digging really close to the... Um, the actual hard stuff over here, which can break up your teeth on your excavator. So you just want to be a little careful about that. You can see here, no problems so far. Now, if you watch the numbers increase, usually about 6% is what you want to get per uh, dig. Sometimes you can get a little bit more than that, but usually 6 is the gold standard here. Now, it seems like we're doing pretty good. Oops. Gotta back that off a little bit. All right, um, so it seems like we're doing pretty good here. Decently, oh, is it already done for in this little section? Oh, I hope not. Let's check. Now I knew these were kind of small claims. Now it's still saying that there's some, some in there. So let's take a peek here. Okay. Now I am not a master of Gold Rush the game. Never claimed to be. So I'm still learning a lot while we play this game. Uh, if you want to join me for that journey, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I love Gold Rush the game. It's always been fun. And ideally what I want to eventually end up doing here is finishing all the claims on this normal run. And just bringing everybody along for the journey. Alright, so let's see here. Now it's claiming that it's empty again. Let's see what the map says. That still says there's some gold in there. So we'll keep digging until that map says no. Now I haven't ran, this is our new wash plant over here, and I have not ran a single uh, thing through it yet. Oh, there it is. It's complaining about hitting the dirt hard stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how much gold we pull out of the first run through. Ideally, we're going to hit um, as close to 100% on our mats and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll see. Now I'm trying to keep it all in this one square here because I wanna, I uh, don't wanna pollute the two uh, squares next to each other. All right, so let's see here. Still looking good. I'm hoping that this pay dirt's a lot better. Uh, typically, I think in Arnold, a good spot of pay dirt is like uh, 0.7 uh, grams of dirt. Uh, per scoop or something. I don't know what the official conversion is. Over here it's about 1.2 to 1.7. Um, so I'm hoping this is pays out a little bit better. Especially for all the work we have to do and all the new wash plant we got up and running. So let's take a peek here. Yeah, this is now dry, officially dry. So what we're going to do is actually uh, hop into here and... Oh, it's going to complain that we're parked. So we'll bump this back a little bit. Um, I didn't really have to turn it off, but that's okay. Then we need to jump into the dump truck, and we're just going to scoot this back as well. So I try to keep this tilted a little bit while I'm digging, uh, just to make it quicker to get the arm in. And I don't know the most efficient ways to dig dirt and send it to the wash plant. I just kind of do what I figured works best for now. Uh, maybe someday I'll watch a guide and become a like master at this, but I just rely heavily on the uh, put it in the dump truck and send it method. I do know that when you get a, a lot more money in your pockets, you can buy those uh, those convenient conveyor belts to kind of haul or ship everything over without having to leave your area. But I feel like that's a very, very rich man's game, and Unfortunately, we're not in that. We have about six hundred thousand dollars. We spent some. We spent most of our money uh, getting the wash plant set up, and getting the new water tower and stuff like that. Um, so let's see here. About three more percent. So just gotta do a quick 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that big of a scoop, but that's okay. Since it's just a video game, we'll just dump the whole thing in. All right, so that looks good. We'll actually hop in here and get rolling. All right. So nothing's up and running yet here. So oh, let's back this in. Yeah, I don't want to lose anything, so we'll just fix that one more time. All right, we'll lift that up and let that get falling in there. Looks good. All right, so we lower this and we're just going to hop out of here and we're going to get everything started up. Now, the big thing is, is we got to make sure we have this running so water's coming in and out of the uh, water tower over here. Now, I did something I missed last episode is that you can actually uh, opt to pay to have this filled up. So about uh, four cents per gallon. You can see here I can drop about 10K to fill it all the way up. Um, not going to worry about that just yet. Um, if the water or anything like that... Uh, runs out, then I'll probably put a hefty chunk in to get it going. So let's double check. Yep, the water's running, so good. So we can go ahead and get everything started up here. So we'll go ahead and hit start all, but then what we're gonna do here is turn off the power splitter, cause that's actually where uh, we clean up our dirt. So not worried about funneling uh, power there just yet. All right, and let's take a peek here. Oh yeah, you can see dirt going in. You can see the rocks kind of coming through here. Big ones fall off. All the good stuff falls into the sluice here, into the trommel. After the trommel, into more sluices and then these planters. All right. So we're looking good there. So let's actually hop back into the dump truck and we'll keep digging away until we get some good stuff out of here. Whoops, ran into the ladder right there. All right. So, we'll get this going. And then, probably since I'm not going to freak out anymore about uh, gas and stuff like that, since I have a nice little nest egg, I'll probably start leaving everything running. Usually I shut everything down while I'm not around. Um, but just for the sake of getting everything done quicker, I'll probably leave it up and running. So I'm going to be... Trying to get a decent shot in here quickly. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so let's hop back over to the excavator. And we'll get all our lights on as well. So let's double check the gold map, make sure we still have gold here. Yes, we do. So, oh, hitting all the wrong buttons while I'm trying to dig, huh? Okay, that's a good, very good spot for the dump truck. All right, so... Kind of oh, yeah. This is why I don't like digging up against these edges here because it complains about uh, hard spots. And probably won't probably have to fix it eventually, but you got to eventually put uh, new teeth on the bucket here. And I'll probably opt for the most expensive ones so that way they just hang out a little bit longer. But I try my best to not hit. That super hard dirt right there. All right, so we go into the main uh, kind of flow of the game now. We're gonna kind of dig, fill up the dump truck, and then send it send it back to the wash plant, and then kind of continue that process. So let's go ahead and just get a big scoop right there, and then let's check the map again. Make sure we haven't already used up all the gold in this region uh just a little bit more left here so i don't know why that keeps popping up as having gold so let's actually just dig up here all right and that's in there so this will probably start this will probably go bad here in the next couple scoops and we'll have to move once again All right. 
I'm going to guess that's it. I think we kind of dug that little area to the max. And even if it isn't, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So what we'll do is we'll actually hop back into the dump truck and we'll reposition him here. So the idea here is that we're going to work uh, from the bottom to the top and from the left to the right. So next up, we'll go to 486 here and just kind of dig backwards, then bump up. And then once those are all done, we'll move on to a new area. So we'll go ahead and get our dump over here. And you may be asking, what are you going to do with all that junk inside that dump? Well, don't you worry. It's going to the wash plant eventually. Oops, we went to the wrong. There we go. Um, so let's get this into driving position. And then we'll just head over here. Oh. Sometimes I forget to hit the shift key. So we're going to scoot our butts over here. And hopefully that dump truck's in a decent position for this. So I'll just try to put myself like right here. We'll shift into dig mode and see how it goes. Now I'm always open to tips and tricks. So, um, if you know something that I'm doing wrong or you got a better idea, I always appreciate comments. I will never be upset if you say, Hey, you might want to check this or something like that. And if you come in my comments and start saying, I'm a bad player, yeah, then I'll probably be upset, but I'm always open to constructive criticism and kind of just learning about how the game works. So 78%. Hopefully we can get this done the next, what, four? Roughly around four scoops. Can't see anything. Digging in the hard soil as usual. Now I'm curious. I've never actually been on any plots besides uh, Rivertown and Old, uh, Old Arnold. So I'm going to be super curious to see, you know, how, uh, oops, I am stuck in there. So I'm going to be super curious to see how the gold, uh, works in later stages. Cause I know those claims have way more gold in them. So is it just like top to bottom, like worth digging out basically, or is it something different? Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to get over here for a quick 4% dig. Hopefully that's enough. That was perfect. Um, so let's see here. Nope. Uh, we'll just leave that there and then we'll get him running. Now I know there's some bumpy terrain here. I've never used the boulders or anything like that. And I don't know if that's something that's worth it, uh, at this stage or if it's, worth just waiting until you're at the end game and then get a, a bulldozer and start flattening lands to make drives quicker. Then I still also assume at that point that you just have conveyor belts uh, getting everything over here. All right. There we go. Now, I really appreciate this dump truck with the uh, independent axle. They're kind of swinging everything around. I'm not good at backing up. All right, we are empty, so that's going to run down there. Just making sure everything looks okay, and it does. Last thing I want is to be losing a bunch of uh, pay dirt because of a mistake somewhere. So everybody hang on. We need to get our brights on as well, just so we can see a little bit better. There we go, perfect. Uh, what is it to get back? I always get confused at which buttons take me where when I'm trying to jump between vehicles. So my apologies for that. All right. Now I'm curious as to why it, it turns that color when I'm digging, but yet sometimes it still has gold in it. Oh, uh, yeah, so I guess it just kind of moves away from here, and 
it might be too deep, so we actually need to stay more focused on the top level here of the dirt. You know, something I'm learning. So if you know, let me know. I know there's a bunch of YouTubers out there that definitely give you a hand. Uh, Old Man Gaming, Hybrid Steel, they're all pretty big into Gold Rush. A lot more than me. They've definitely put the time in. Alright, so let's go ahead and scoop here. And then do that. And we'll keep just trying to hit the top layer here. Yeah, I know I'm digging hard soil. All right, let's take another peek really. Oh, nope, don't want to travel anywhere. Yeah, so this is pretty much wearing out now. So I'll do another scoop and then we'll back up and get to the next uh, plot behind us. Now, usually your your plots last a little bit longer, but we are in the situation here where we're digging on the edge of the everything. So they'll go they'll burn through a little quicker. All right, let's get you in position and then let's get you in position. Should be good. Uh, there you go. And then we're still driving. All right. So start digging this out. See, I hate when that happens. That's just back control on my part. You got to be smarter about those scoops. That way you don't lose when you're coming through. You see there, that's not going to be a good one. Yeah, that was only 4%. So put that here, scoop, and there we go. That's a full one. That's the ones that make your mama proud. All right, we keep loading the trunk with junk. Now I promise I gonna try to make it all the way to the best claim in the game, which I think is called Nighthawk. Oh, and I know seasons are going on right now as the time of recording. It's actually season 31 going on. Um, I thought about trying to do seasons, but then I realized I don't have the time to try to <laughs> run a YouTube channel and do a normal run playthrough and season run playthrough. Um, so I opted to just kind of continue this one and I'm actually going to, um, reduce the amount of games I'm trying to record overall. Um, I know steam next fest just came through, so I did a bunch of games there, but I'm actually going to try to pull back my games and try to focus on a core two to three. Um, you know, one that really sticks out is out of ore. Um, I have a dual uh, joystick setup that I want to play that with. Um, I also got a construction simulator, and so those are the two that I'll probably uh, want to switch over and focus on a little more heavy uh, with my channel, and then um, we'll just kind of bring other simulator games in as they cop pop out. I uh, used Car Simulator uh, recently. Uh, I was on demo, and I really, really enjoyed that. I thought that was a really fun simulator game. Um, so we'll definitely try to grab that when it's out fully, but I'm definitely going to try to rein it in and focus on, you know, the games that make me happy, which seem to be, uh, big boys with big toys, <laughs> construction games, uh, mining games. Those really seem to be, uh, where my happiness lies when I'm playing games. Uh, I'm not going to tilt that just yet. There we go. All right. So let's look around. I kind of see about 38% when it comes to our wash plant. So no problem there. We'll actually uh, just dump and run and try to, you know, get a couple more trucks in there before we shut everything off and carry it off. Now, ideally 
you know, I'm not going to uh, record every single, you know, wash through. But I'm thinking about trying a, uh, something I've seen before, which was, seemed to be like a bucket challenge where you um, you get so many buckets of gold and clean them out together. Uh, that seemed like a little fun thing to do. So I'm thinking probably after this first washout uh, recording or not washout, first clean out uh, recording, that we'll do something like that uh, similar. We'll try to get a ton of buckets of gold set up, uh, clean them all out together and see what we pull together. I also try to keep you updated about the, you know, the boring things like the uh, workers and stuff like that. Uh, we just hired an overseer. Uh, I forget what they do specifically. I think they just help send alerts out and make notifications if something's breaking or whatnot. But uh, general feedback seemed to be they're not worth it, but I just don't care. I'm going to hire everybody and anybody at this point. All right, there we go. So this is still showing gold, so we'll keep digging at the top here. And we'll take a quick peep at the map. All right, yeah, it's about to die out here. So we'll just scoop up here. Hopefully we can see what's going on. And I think that's gonna be it for that little plot. So let's take a peek. One thing I wish they would have put in here is a direct button to um, check in your gold map. Every, every time I do this, I have to hit M, then back out. All right, so we are good on this one. Let me double check. Yeah, I got my brights on. So let's switch it back into driving and we'll back it up here. Kind of readjust. Oh, it looks like I was stuck on that guy. All right, and then we need to go. Yep, see, I don't get the buttons right. All right, so we will move him over here. Try to get a better back in now. There we go. That's a lot better. And I hit the wrong button again. At this point, it'd probably be easier for me to jump out. Um. All right. Let's put, fix our camera, and we'll get back to it. Now, I don't know if the gold density uh in the area determines how fast your plants fill up um that's something i'm actually very curious about so if you do know let me know i just toss it in the comments um or if it's just a static like you know you run so much dirt uh you get a percentage based now one thing i noticed is we haven't got a uh, a gold nugget yet uh while running these clean outs here So let's see. Oh. No good. We want to try to get the best that we can there. My apologies. Um There we go. Oh, I went fast and hard on that one. Didn't mean to. This poor excavator is going to be all kinds of beat up. One thing I should do is um, get into the workshop here and grab some skins and stuff like that. Although I am a big fan of the original uh, Discovery Show Gold Rush uh, per, uh, Orange here. I know that's what Jack and all of them ran with. Now, the funny thing is, I've actually, I've been trying to watch um, a lot of Gold Rush while I play this game. Now, I used, before I started recording for YouTube, I used to watch it while I played. Um, but now, I really don't do that much. So, I actually got to set aside some more time and just kind of catch up on the lore of Gold Rush. Some amateur miners, basically. There we go. And probably just need another small scoop to finish this off. 
So we'll see if we can just get a small scoop from there. All right, looks good. So we'll actually shut him off. And I hit the wrong button. Um, there we go. So let's get him ran. Oh boy, don't get stuck. Yeah, I would appreciate that if you don't get stuck there. All right, so let's get this uh, load pumping in here. And what we'll do is we'll actually jump out, check the plant, and see how everything is going so far. Come on. There we go. All right, so we'll let that go. And we'll actually hop out. And let's check, uh, let's see where we're at. About 57. So I'm assuming a truck or two more. Then we'll be done with this. All right, so we'll get that lowering. And we'll run off here. Sorry, just trying to lower the bucket and drive at the same time, which can be a little awkward. Uh-oh. Oh, we saved that. That could have been bad. All right, so we got to make sure we don't send it into the hole there. So I'm going to do a complete drive back. It's even worse when you accidentally do it with your uh, excavator. I've had that almost happen. All right. And we'll get the excavator back up and running. Now, I don't think there's going to be much more out of here to dig out, but we'll find out. Thankfully, it's still showing a bunch of gold on the top layers here. But I am digging very, very close to my own excavator just to get all this out. So let's take a quick peek here. Oh, it's about dead. All right. Uh, so I guess we'll just do a scoop until it turns gray, then we'll bail out. Because there's obviously not much left here. Wow, it's still going. Well, I guess what I'll do is I'll actually uh, back up now. And that way we can just reach a little bit further to dig out. Uh, so let's see here. All right, and then we'll get back in the digging position here. Great. So a little bit further... But we'll leave the dump truck there for now. Should still be able to reach it. Just a little bit further of a reach. See, now this is still showing gold, which is crazy. Yeah, still a little bit there, it's saying. So we'll take out that top scoop there. And hopefully we don't send the uh, dump truck in. There we go. Now nah, it seems to be done. Oh, it's raining pretty hard. Um, So actually, let's opt to back this guy up just a little bit more. All right. And then we'll go back. And we'll readjust him. There we go. Great. Uh, oh, I'm still in driving mode. I was about to say, how'd I, what'd I break again? It was like the time I broke the hydraulic hoses on this thing. I was so confused. All right, what are we at uh, percentage-wise here? Uh, 65. Sorry if you hear my mic slamming in the background. Very aggressive when I come to uh, digging holes here. All right. So we kind of just work on getting this top layer off. And then we'll dig in a little more. There we go. All 
I'm kind of curious to see the future of Gold Rush, the game. I mean, I'm very surprised we are now into seven years of support for the game. I'm wondering if the developer is maybe looking into, uh, you know, keeping it alive with seasons and stuff like that, but trying to develop something on their own in the back end. I would love to see another uh, mining game, but kind of uh, brought into, you know, twenty the 2020s. <laughs> Um, not to say that this game is a critic or anything like that. It is still very great for a 2017 game. You can tell they put a lot of work into it, uh, into making sure that, you know, it still feels good, even though, uh, it's aged a little bit. I think my favorite part is how everything feels quick, uh, except for the instances where you get your excavator stuck on hills. Um, I love how the quick, uh, the dump truck is, um, I don't, it doesn't feel like a slog trying to get everything up and running. And I think that's important in simulation games um, is to, you know, make it feel for the normal player to feel quick and easy to work with. Uh, I think that if you want to do true simulation stuff, then that should be an option uh, that those users can switch to. Um, you know, you might play a train simulator and say, you know, I want to press 8,000 buttons to get somewhere. Um and some people might not enjoy that. Some might say, hey, you know, I just want to get in there, you know, have a start stop button. And oh, day's over. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, fifty-four thousand on this. Uh worker salary, process pay dirt. Okay. Wow, it is dark, huh, guys? Um Oh my gosh, I don't have lights out here yet. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to shut everything down uh, for now. Because I have to believe that that plant is about full. And oh my gosh, it is so dark. Now in the spring it wasn't like this. It's definitely a change for the summer here. Um, so let's see. This is... I'm not happy when it looks like there's dirt falling off the edge there. Um, so we'll actually let this finish off here. Let's check. Yeah, this is 28% left. Yeah, we'll actually let this finish itself up, and then we'll uh, start the process of cleaning up. Now, because I am filming for YouTube, I'm not going to do it in the pitch dark. I'll actually bump the day forward. I don't mind losing some time. Uh, just to make it so that it's a little bit easier to see what's going on in this game. So, um, since we're going to jump ahead, everything's shut off for now. I'm going to leave the uh, water pump on to keep working on the thing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about it in my head, and I'm realizing that I actually should stay with this until it's done. Because then what I can do is shut everything off, and including the water, and leave the water pump running so the, the tank over here fills up. Um, so let's double check here. So you can see here, I believe this is empty now. Yes, that is empty. So just a couple more percentages on this. All right, so that looks good. All right, so what we'll do is we'll actually shut the plant down now. Let's shut this down. And we'll turn the water off from here. I wish there was a way to do it closer to the plant, but I totally understand doing this. Oh, look at this. I didn't realize that. I was running out of water the entire time. That's why it was flashing. Okay. Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible person. I hope that doesn't mess with the water, which I don't think it does. I think it was just messing with how fast it, everything finished up. Um, okay, so we're we're learning. Like I said, I'm not the master. I'm still learning. So we'll actually uh, fill that up for the night. Um, I guess we're just going to have to opt to start buying water if we're going to be running it through there. Um, or, do we, or do we change it so that the water input comes from the diesel and only comes from the water tanks if needed? I don't know. That's a lot to think about. All right, let's sleep till dawn. And we'll start this whole process here. Because, oh, you know what? I don't even think this could support 
running off one diesel. I might have to have two diesels or something. All right, so that is filling up. How's the uh, gas look on it? Gas is fine. Okay, um, so we'll leave that as is, and then we'll get our butts moving on emptying this out and checking out how we did. So the first thing we'll do is... Um, Let's do, just thinking off the top of my head here. Let's pull the, um, let's pull all the mosses first. Now I'm not used to this because uh, I've always done it out old Palmer. So this is going to be a little new. Duh. Please ignore the power cord running through there. <laughs> oh, oh geez. Hang on. Got to go fetch this thing again. Yeah, the mats are at 92, the buckets are at 95. Huh, I wonder if that's an issue down there because I was uh, having water issues. That's okay. So we've learned. Uh, what we'll do is probably actually just fill it up. Uh, not to, Maybe to the maximum, maybe not. Figure that out later. Um, wow, I am not impressed with this. It's actually very annoying. Um... I have to put it right here? Yes. So I noticed that some people put uh, the uh, mat washers next to these and just rinse them off and go. Um, that might be something in the future I'd do. I'd just try to get the uh, buckets out of here instead of all the mats. Um, maybe in the next video when I attempt you know, a large bucket wash, I'll do something like that. Um, that way I can just, you know, hook them up right here, wash them through, and then uh, pull them. All right, so this isn't letting me grab. Uh, I promise I'm not that bad. Usually when I'm not recording, I'm very good at this game. But I am just not having it today. It doesn't help that the planters are tall than the uh, old duplex jig. So, and every time I jump on something, it feels like it's making me bounce off. All right. That's good enough. Just get this over with. I know it's painful. All right. And I'm actually not going to remat these uh, uh, during this, just to kind of keep everything. Oh, why are you doing that? Uh, just to keep everything moving quickly. Um, we'll actually just pull these mats and then take them over, and then uh, when I wrap up, I'll come back here and get everything done. So not to be mad at me because I put too many in the crates. I'm going to claim I'm a very bad guy for doing it this way. Head won't fall out. All right, so that should be all our mats that we need. I'll double check, doesn't look like any fell, but you never know. We can always come back and check later. So let's get these over, then we need to pull the buckets. And for now, the wash plant set up, or not the wash plant, uh, our clean out set up in here, um, just because I get really frustrated when everything's on a hill. <laughs> And I wish there was an option to be like, hey, I want to work here and just kind of flatten it out or something. All right, so let's see here. We need to pull from the sluice box up top here. And then we need to pull from uh, uh, the planters down there. So let's go ahead and we'll get our shovel running here. I really hope I can find workers eventually to uh, do this for me. I know you need a ton of workers because you need workers here and then you need them on the sluices. Uh, down there, so they're all flipping everything for you as they're going. That will definitely make it a lot easier to get gold quicker and faster. Because you can see here, they have uh, spots for two more buckets. So once this fills up, uh, you know, the worker assigned here would theoretically empty it and uh, into one of the empty buckets. And then, you know, you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. You can just run by, grab the buckets that are filled, and take them to the cleanouts. All right, so we just got to finish up this little uh, sluice grate. 
And we just gotta pull the bottom buckets and we should be good to go. All right. Uh sanity check. Yep, looking good. So we'll actually pull that and come down here. Uh so we need a crate for the buckets. Alright, so yeah, the one thing that drives me crazy is how everything's so slanted everywhere. <laughs> They're always working on a hill somewhere. And I get it, you know, that's probably how it is out there, but oh, I just die for a feature to be like, hey, here is flat flatness for you to work with. Um, okay, that should be the last bucket here then. Alright, good. So let's carry this up and let's get started. So we'll probably start with these buckets first, uh, separate them out and stuff like that. And then we'll uh, work the mats. Uh, once we get the mat material out, then we'll separate it and run it through the wash plant. All right, so I need to run uh, water up here. And let me just double check to make sure I know where this water's coming from. This is coming from the splitter up here. Okay. So yeah, I will have to run it out of there. Are you why are you running? Oh, the water the sound wasn't working for some reason. That's odd. Um Alright, so let's just toss some more water in here for now. Cause I don't want to get him mad at me while I'm trying to uh, work down there. And I noticed there's different out valves too. I guess if I was smart, I would have did a separate out there. Actually, what's stopping us from doing that right now? Um, that way we can save some water, hopefully. So what do we need? What do we need? We need to split. Uh, we need a large that runs down here. And... I guess we just need a splitter to attach it to this. Um, all right, everybody, field trip, come on. Change of plans. We we're going to do a washout, but we're going to do an emergency water change. So what we'll do is we'll get a huge hose, a splitter, and that's actually it. That's all we need for that, which is nice. Uh, equipment store. Let's see here. Uh, we need one of these. And then we need a splitter. And we'll check out. And hopefully that uses less water than uh, pumping everything into the entire plant at once. So I guess this is the experimental phase uh, that you're going to see with me. Usually I try to do this stuff uh, <laughs> on the side because I know it could be a little uh, boring at points, but hopefully this is engaging <laughs> enough for you guys. So let's see what the difference is. So if I just leave everything as is, it runs at 79. Now, will that number change as well when I put it over here? All right, which hose goes over there? I believe it's this one here. If I had to venture a guess, yeah, because it goes all the way up there. Okay. So I guess in the, the way to do this is to actually put the splitter over here so we can understand that there's a difference between the two. Um, let's see. Set it right here. And then we'll actually grab this and bring it over. It's like the last episode. We're just kind of changing the setup here. And if you're interested in that was episode five, I believe, where we set up this wash plant and I've worked through all the electrical and hose setup as well. All right, so we'll actually run this back. I pull it too so we can Get it going here. Come on. A little faster. Oh, 
I wonder if I even need that splitter anymore. I'm not going to worry at this moment. All right, uh, so we'll attach that there. And now will the game tell me that it's different between the two? Yeah, it's only using 16 gallons per minute. Okay, so that's definitely worth it. This is pumping in 53. Okay, so that was definitely worthwhile of a change there because that saves me a lot of water. All right, so we just need to get the uh, that up and running. And now we can actually do the true, the true, true, true clean out now. And I think the water's good. And I know some people be saying, you know, hey, uh, just put everything closer. And I will always complain about that. I want flat land to work on. Uh, so let's see if we can turn that off for a second. Geez, that's really strained, huh? Can I pull that just a little bit more? There you go. Looks better. Um, so let's see. We'll just leave that running for now. All right, so let's get these buckets running then, and we'll see what happens here. And then when it's done, we'll just uh, set it to the side for now. Um, all right, not bad. A lot more uh, magnetite coming out of there, which makes me happy. Um, let's actually, I don't have enough buckets to do this, so we'll just kind of see how it goes. So we started at 52. Everyone write that down and remember. Uh, let's see here. And then while those are running, we'll just grab stuff and jam it in for a second. All right. That's completed. Um, let's see bucket number three. All right. Don't forget 52 is the number because I'm probably going to forget. And then let's grab some of the smaller mats. All right. So it says that's done. All right, one bucket to go left on that. Meanwhile, we got this thing we're filling up. I always do the small pan or this hog pan mats first. I just like to get them out of the way. All right, good job there. Not a lot of gold out of that one. Uh, let's see, last bucket here. Oh yeah, definitely not a lot of. Now where was that coming from? Was that the planner? I definitely have to see which ones are which are coming out with such small amounts of gold there. All right, that is running. So we need to finish filling this up with the mats. Of course, the little guys. Here we go. And then, uh oh, am I missing one? This is what I hate when one goes missing. I did. All right, let's go check. It usually falls out over here somewhere. Oh, that was a good one. 48 ounces of gold. All right, don't forget, 52 is the magic number. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Hopefully, I can get rid of these hog pans eventually. And kind of just let whatever fall out. And we'll slap that in there. Okay. And then we'll get that running. And then the last one's right here. Magnetite's filling up nicely, which is great. We could definitely use the upgrades there. The only thing I'm concerned about thinking is if I put that into here, will it fill up the gold faster than I can uh, stop it and fill it, or stop it and empty. So let's throw that in. 
Oh uh, yeah, there wasn't much in there. That's okay though. So I don't have an empty one to throw these in, so I'll say it will clean up later. We'll just throw these down for now. We still do have to do two runs of this though, and I think we can uh, leave the bucket on for the rest of the cleanup because it shouldn't fill up as much with the uh, the mats coming from these sluice boxes, not the hog pumps, hog pan pumps. All right, so there we go. There, get these bad boys in. Now, usually, I I've tried doing it while it's running, uh, but that gives me such a hard time with it moving back and forth and putting the mats in. Oh, uh, you know what? I usually have an empty uh, crate up here to flip out with, so that's where I went wrong with this run. And that's okay. Um, did I miss? I don't think I did. All right, let's run it. All right, so that is running. Let's go ahead and pull this and get it in here. And that's almost done. It only filled up like a 28%, so definitely can uh, just leave it there and get the last ones running here. I'm putting on my best uh, speed running performance here for you guys. There we go. So yeah, usually this is what happens in the background. <laughs> the slow process of just getting everything cleaned up. And like I said, there's many tricks that I've seen here and there to uh, fix it. Um, we'll definitely look at running those in the future. All right, uh, so we're good here. We just got to wait for this to finish up. All right, great. So then this will be our wrap up here. We'll be almost done in a second. We can all bust out our calculators. I'll get mine ready. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. All right, uh, that is done. Wow, almost a half a bucket of magnetite. That makes me really happy. Those, up those upgrades at the blacksmith are no joke. All right, so remember we finished with 50, uh, we started with 52 ounces. And that's going to be our wrap up there. Wow, that was a good one there. Uh, so 241 uh, minus 52, 189 ounces of gold from our first wash, our clean out. Um, I'm really happy with that. That's actually a lot compared to old Arnold. So, um, man, that makes me a happy camper. I can't wait to keep digging this place out. Um, so ideally what we'll do is we'll keep working our way through here and then I'll probably go back here. And the only thing I don't get excited about is you can see back in here, all the gold is deep down. There's all this filler dirt on top of it with just a little bit of gold in it until you make it all the way down. So I'm wondering if this is a situation where we use bulldozers and front end loaders to kind of scrape the tops off. Uh, if you got any idea, I'd definitely like to hear it. Toss it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, this area might be up next just because it's quicker to get to. Uh, but it's so shallow compared to back here, I think. Yeah, you can see how deep this goes. So, yeah, definitely a lot of lot to consider here and set up and get prepped for. Uh, but that's going to be it for me now. So, once again, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy Gold Rush or uh, coming up, we'll have Construction Simulator and Out of Ore. You know, if you enjoy that content, please uh, subscribe, uh, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Anything kind of helps kind of grow the channel and get it out there. And it helps me keep producing these episodes for you guys. So, I really appreciate it. And once again, thank you. Please have a great day and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.